Okay, good afternoon and welcome to Daily 3D Revolve. Today I'm going to be doing a tutorial on how to make a vintage uh, rocket ship in Design Spark Mechanical. Okay, first thing we want to do is go ahead and open the program. Go to File, New, New Design. Go to the eye icon to hit plan, plan view. Go ahead and minimize. We'll drag our graphic or JPEG file in. Go ahead and center it. We'll maximize. And we want to go ahead and get the line tool to start. Click and drag down to the end. Click. Go ahead and select the click off the line. We're going to use the spline tool. We're going to click and drag, pull, click and drag, pull, click and drag, pull, click and drag, pull, and then we're going to go select to end it. We're going to go control plus to zoom in. We're going to hit the pan, the pan up. Go ahead and back to our line tool. We're going to drag the, draw these details in here. Click and drag. Go ahead and select. Use our trim away tool. Go ahead and trim away these. And go ahead and get the line tool one more time. Click there and drag over. Go ahead and select. Grab our trim away. Trim here, trim here. Okay, doesn't look too bad. All right, now we're going to go ahead and draw the smaller rocket. So go ahead and get your line tool. Click, drag down. Get your select. Go ahead and grab that spline tool. Go ahead and click and pull. Drag. Click and pull. Curve. Click and pull. And go ahead and select to end it. Go back to the line tool. Go ahead and control plus to zoom in. Go ahead and pan to pan up. Get your line tool. Click and drag for the flange. Go ahead and select to end it. Then go ahead and get your trim away tool. We'll trim away that piece, that piece, and then the bottom piece. We don't need those. And control minus to zoom out. We'll go ahead and pan to pan back over. We're going to go ahead and move this graphic out of the way. So we'll go ahead and select, click on the graphic, go to the move tool, click the green arrow, and select, drag it over. Then we're going to go ahead and go pull. We're going to click there till it's orange. Then we're going to go to the revolve. We're going to click on a revolve from the center and we're going to click the full pull. And we're going to go Highlight this by dragging a marquee around it. Select the pull. Same thing as the middle one. Revolve. Revolve from a midpoint. And then a full pull revolve. Go ahead and select. Okay, now we want to go ahead and move this back into place. So click on it. Select the move. Grab the red arrow. Move it back into place. And we want to draw this piece right here. The support brackets for the engine. So we'll go ahead and click there, drag up, click, select the click off of it, grab our spline tool, click, pull, bend it, click, pull, select to end it, grab our line tool again, go from the end point there, up to there, select to end it. Now we're going to click on the graphic, move, move that away. Now we're going to spin, we're going to select. Let's go to pull, select that. We're going to go select our spin tool to move it. We're going to pull from both sides, so change that to pull from both sides. Go ahead and click and drag. We're going to go. 
1.12, go select to select off of it, go to your view, view from top, go ahead and drag a marquee around these objects here. Okay, now we're going to go ahead and spin this. Now we're going to go ahead and move, select move, and we're going to go ahead and say create pattern. We're going to change, move this to revolve around the center of that. We're going to go ahead and click the blue. And we want three of them right there. Oops. Keep snapping off the third one. There we go. Okay, click. All right, now select to click off. Okay, now we got everything we need, so we don't need the picture anymore. We'll go ahead and hit delete. Uh, select that. We're going to go ahead and add a circle there. I'm going to pull up. I'm going to hit the select button. I'm going to go ahead and spin this a little bit. I'm going to go ahead and hit pull. And then we're going to pull that up just a little bit. 0.08. All right, now we're going to do the same for these. So I want to go ahead and revolve this around like this. Then we're going to go ahead and click here. Circle. That's point two. Well, let's just let's make it point two. Okay, I'll put one there. Point two. Point two. Okay, now we're going to click to select to click off. We're going to spin. Now we're going to go ahead and pull. I'm going to select each one of these by holding down the control key. And then we're going to actually pull these up a little bit. Point two is fine. Go ahead and select to click off. Go ahead and spin to make sure this rocket's good. Looks good to me. Um, not sure I'd really want to do anything else. Um, one thing I could do is go ahead and pull, add some fillets right here. We can add a 0.05 fillet to each of these. Okay, let's go ahead and spin that around. Now, the thing with the, re once you do a revolve and you create pattern, if you put a fillet on one of them, it will add it to all the other ones. So you can see that the other ones are already done. So we'll go ahead and um, put one at the bottom here. So we'll go ahead and pull. Create a fillet there. 0.05. Click the select button, go ahead and hit spin. And you'll notice that those are done as well. Do the same thing here. Click on that. Go ahead and pull. Point 0.5. All right, that looks like our rocket is complete. Go ahead and at the top view, spin it around, there's our little rocket. Okay, well, that'll end the tutorial. Hopefully you found something useful out of this. And if you did, uh, go ahead and hit the like and subscribe button. And um, if you happen to have a 3D printer, go ahead and uh, save this out as an STL file, print it out for your desk. Uh, again, uh, thank you for watching.